Beautiful Susie Salmon. Now, just slowly pushing. I was 14 years old when I was murdered on December 6th, 1973. Alice Siebold's novel, The Lovely Bones, is one of those books that you don't quite know what to expect, but when you read it, you get it very quickly. It affects you emotionally as a reader and as a filmmaker, that's terrifically interesting. The Lovely Bones is a story set in the suburbs of Philadelphia in the early 70s. It's about the Salmon family, husband, wife, three children, and a tragedy befalls them. Bye, Dad. Bye, Susie. Oh, hey, you're the Salmon girl, right? They really were in the prime of their lives. Next thing you know, the police have arrived, and nobody really knows what happened to her. We didn't find her, Mrs. Salmon. I'm very sorry. It's a very compassionate story. The way it's told from the girl's point of view and the innocence that she has and the way she looks at the world she's left behind. Susie is on this incredible adventure into the world of the afterlife. The rules of our world no longer apply. She has to come to terms with where she is and she has to somehow influence events back down on Earth that enable her killer to be caught. It's an incredibly layered story, and finding Susie was always going to be the number one priority, really, in terms of casting for this film. And we found Saoirse Ronan. She delivered an incredible performance a couple of years ago in Atonement, where she got nominated for an Academy Award, in actual fact. And Saoirse makes Susie Salmon come to life in the most wonderfully delightful way. She's funny, she's humorous, but she's also a phenomenally um, powerful young actress. They really understand Susie the way I understand Susie and, and how she reacted to everything that happened to her on her journey. It's beautiful. What is this place? There's something slightly magical about her. I think casting Saoirse, who has this fantastic face that you can't take your eyes off of, you will be carried through this film by her. Saoirse, yeah. will you turn around? More of a bigger moment of surprise. Good. In some ways, this isn't what some people would consider to be a typical Peter Jackson movie. It actually completely is. He has a lot of heart, and he's emotionally brave as a person. So he is someone who wants to tackle stories like this. It plays as a darkly comic, very fast-paced crime thriller, and it's the thriller aspect and the humor that appealed to me. Gentlemen, Len. Susie would never go off with a stranger. It had to be someone she knew. It's going to be a very emotional journey, but I think ultimately the message of the movie is going to be hope. Why won't you listen to him? Because you need evidence. You need proof. My father had the pieces, but he couldn't make them fit. Can't you just leave it alone? I know it's you. Come on, face me. 